the methodology and software developed during the third phase of the project can find application not only to optimize the fleet of UEVs, but also other assets performing common mission. Now we are seeking application of our software in industry and in other fields. In the first phase, the demonstration team introduced new modifications to fixed wing UAVs, which enhanced live video transmission and the range of efficient fleet operations. We improved the flight characteristics and the hardware on board. Most important tasks were making design in 3D and manufacture accumulator and autopilot mounting shelves, adding flaps and mounting of different radio transmission systems. In this phase, UAVs from our fleet encountered many modifications. Our team made improvements in Stabria, Rekin and T-Rex, as well as the other hardware parts crucial for the whole system oper operation, antenna trackers or Cessna adaptation. The most important tasks were to modify structures and design mounts for various elements and manufacture them manually or with the use of CNC milling machine. Also transport box for T-Rex was equipped. In the Cessna 152 airplane, a special table was mounted for the mission computer station. In the third phase, the demonstration group improved demonstration hardware. The biggest uh, modification was to put the console into the air. The whole demonstration software was modified, especially the communication. The new software version allows to modify flight plans during the mission in real time, so the fleet can be retasked in a very short time. The mission computer that commands the fleet UAVs was transferred to mobile version. The main modifications were implemented in the communication with the ground stations. The software that links the autopilot and console was developed so retasking of UAVs can be done in real time. This allowed to put the mission computer into the manned airplane to control UAVs from the air. The whole process of selecting the UAVs, modifying the mission and retasking the aircraft is done from there. Compared to the previous version of the software, the user interface has been significantly improved. The new interface allows to simulate various cases in a shorter time. The MIP optimization method has been integrated with lawnmower trajectory to optimize fleet for large mission zones in a very efficient manner. Mission parameters changes now can be done easily. The main milestones achieved in the third opus phase were developing the software that is more user-friendly and easier to operate, that works faster and generates trajectories in shorter time, performing the demonstration with the use of manned and unmanned system together, developing the console that allows the operator to control and manage the fleet in a more efficient way. The mission computer was modified into the mobile version that allows to retask the fleet in real time. The results of the project may find application to optimize operation not only the fleet of UAVs but also other assets. Now we seek commercial applications of the software and also of hardware.